Here are two $100 per day or more keywords for Kindle Direct Publishing for the month of November. What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane and on this channel I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. In today's video, I'm just showing you two $100 or more per day keywords for Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. All right, they're not really for Audible ACX, these ones, but they definitely will work for Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. And the reason why I like these two keywords so much is because they are so related, but they're different enough that you can make two separate books about them, but at the same time, they're related. So you make a series and you can make a very strong bundle out of these books on top of other things as well. But these are the two main keywords that I found within this niche that have a lot of potential. And before I jump into my computer and show you what these keywords are, remember when we're looking for profitable keywords, the main things we're looking for are low competition, so less than 5,000 results, a good average BSR that's low, around 150 to 200,000. Anything below that is very good. That means there's a lot of demand for that particular keyword. And then we're looking at other competitors in the niche to see how many reviews they have, uh, how much of an authority they are in that niche, and just to see and get an idea if we'll have the opportunity to compete within that niche if we make a book about these particular keywords. So those are the main things we're looking for amongst a couple other things which I'll show you in just a second. But anyways, let's jump into my computer. I'm gonna show you what these two keywords are, why they're so brandable and why they have so much potential to get started with right now. So we're in my computer here now and as you can see, the first keyword is gonna be candle making. <laughs> yes, very odd keyword and I just found it randomly the other day and then I started searching through the niche and saw there's a couple other keywords that are related to it, including the one I'm gonna show you that's also related to it after this first one. But the first thing you see here is candle making. And when I type candle into the Amazon search bar, the very first thing that's suggested, even with my cache cleared, is candle making. So that's very important. That's one of the first things we're looking for on top of what else I just told you when it comes to finding profitable keywords, is that they are auto-populating the search bar. After that, we'll click enter and we'll see on the first page here, the results are a little bit high. All right, and that's not too bad, it's just, we're usually looking for around 5,000 or under, but I see the other numbers lining up very well with this, so it gives this keyword a little bit more potential than you might think. 9,000, not too bad. Anything above 10,000 usually is very high and it's kind of difficult for us to compete with. Next thing we're looking at is the average BSR. So without removing any outliers, this is at 400,000, which isn't bad. It's a little bit on the higher side though. So if I click the book B map here, you can see I've already removed the outliers. There's a few things unchecked. And you can see the average BSR gets brought down to around 165K, which is very, very good. And it means there's a lot of demand for this particular keyword and you can make a lot of money with it. Moving your eyes to the right, you'll see the average reviews are only like 240. So that's very, very low. So again, even though there's a lot of competition in terms of how many results there are, there's not a whole lot of competition in terms of authority figures. So that's why I still think this keyword has a lot of potential. And you probably get an idea why I don't think this is very good for Audible. It's because with this kind of book, you probably need some pictures in there. It's more of an explaining book. It's more of a visual book in order to make candles. But you could put it on Audible. You could see what it does. But I feel like it would do a lot better on, on Amazon. And I checked the numbers on Audible and it's definitely favored in print. As we scroll through, you can see there's a lot of books down here and they're not amazing. Like these covers aren't really standing out to me. So that's another area where you can get in and take advantage of. You can make a very good cover for this type of book. And in all honesty, it wouldn't be a very difficult book to make. You could hire some kind of ghostwriter who's an expert in candle making and get them to write this book for you, get the images for you, and it wouldn't be that difficult. It probably wouldn't cost very much either. So that is the first keyword, and you can see average price around $10, averaging around 81 sales per month. So once you take off the royalty there, you're definitely making a good chunk of money off of this. But the, the real opportunity here is bundling the two together and getting a free book out of them because they're so, so similar, but different enough to make two separate books about. So let's look at the second keyword here. So as you can see, the second keyword is soap making. You probably guessed it because there was a couple of books there that already had bundles with this. And this one's a little bit more competitive. You can see the average reviews around 700 on this one. The results are around the same, but given that you can bundle the two together and you can make a brand out of the two of them, I think this has a lot of potential. And you can see this one has average monthly sales a little bit higher. You can see there are some authority figures. So this one has 4,000. There's one with 600 down here, 1,000. Other than that though, there's not a whole lot of big, big name players, maybe a couple more, but it's definitely another book that's not very difficult to make. You can make it pretty easily if you hire the right person to do it for you. Or maybe you're an expert in these kinds of things and this interests you even better. You can make these books yourself. 
The numbers are very good though. If I click the Bookbeam app, you can see, and that's without removing any outliers. So if I scroll down here, I can find some outliers. Probably this one has 800,000. Let's get rid of that. Uh, 700,000, we can get rid of that as well. And that's gonna drop it down to 128K. So definitely some demand there. And again, this one auto fills the search bar. So you can see these two keywords here, soap making and candle making. Soap making, candle making. Uh, are definitely odd keywords, but it's definitely a good niche to get into, make two books about, make a bundle about, become an authority if you can, and do very well in. You can see if I click into this one, let's take a quick look on the inside of it. I'm assuming this one probably has print color. Has colored printing. Uh, let's scroll down though. Doesn't even look like it. Looks like they uh, have the same kind of tactics that I teach in my program, which is awesome. Uh, they have their free offer here, which is pretty cool. But as you can see, this one doesn't have very much interior, so I can't actually tell what the um, what the structure is like. Let's see if we can find a book with some interior ideas to see how they're how they're creating these things. Scan me. Give me some sample pages here. So we look like we have an introduction here. Why you should read this? Who am I? I'm not getting any ideas for like images, but that's fine. Um, in my opinion, probably make an introduction for this kind of thing. Make maybe an about the author like this person was making and then include different candle making recipes, how to do it, how to grow, run, start your own profitable home candle making business. So you can make it an entrepreneurial book as well. Lots of opportunities with this niche. In my opinion, you could do very well with it if you do it correctly. So that is my set of keywords for the month of November. One quick thing before I let you guys go from this video is if you're not quite yet joined in my free Facebook group, click the first link in the description down below. It'll take you to my 100% free Facebook group. It's called KDP and ACX Self-Publishing Secrets. We have a community of over 5,000 people in there. This is an older screenshot, it says 2,500. It's over 5,000 people in there now and it's just the best place to ask any questions about self-publishing, whether you're brand new, experienced, there's tons of different people at different skill levels in there. You can network with, ask questions with, get to know them. And also, if you're brand new to self-publishing, at the very top, I have a thing that's pinned. It's a five-step guide to getting started with self-publishing. It's 100% free when you join the group. So if that interests you, make sure you click the first link in the description down below. It'll take you to this free Facebook group. I'm in there, I answer questions as well. So if you wanna ask any questions or wanna post your numbers or something like that, this is the place to do it. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I try to post new videos every single week about self-publishing, lifestyle, entrepreneurship, business in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, again, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you every single week. Hopefully see you next week in next week's video. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.